We're gonna layer up for this one. 32 degrees outside this morning. Wait, can I take the camera real quick? I gotta give him some insight. It's 32 degrees outside. <laughs> hey, at least you don't got the flip flops today. <laughs> I know, I knew it was slippery, that's why, bro. Good morning, guys. It's Deonta here, Premium Lifestyle Detailing. Today's a big day. It's our very first mobile detail with the mobile setup. 32 degrees outside, so definitely putting it to the test. So yeah, check it out. We got a BMW X Drive right here, and we also got a WRX to do, and uh, it's exciting. It's our first one, and so, you ready, Cisco? Our first one. Don't tell anyone. We've been doing setup. this 15 years. It's already. my first mobile with this setup. With this setup. Yeah. We've been yeah. doing it 15 years exactly. already. We're seasoned. <laughs> yeah. You're so seasoned. You you dress for it. <laughs> Let's see the cold start. The cold start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm prime. You gotta, gotta get the oil going. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even let it warm up. Quick walk around around the car. Dirty wheels. I don't know what this is going on on the back side. It's cold out here. So hopefully we're able to dry this thing and not slip too much. No? If you guys haven't seen the setup, you can check it out on the YouTube channel, the recent video, part two of building this. All right, the uh, question for today's video is, do you guys spray the product before rinsing or do you guys rinse first? Let me know down in the comments below. Am I, is this green or what color is this? What color is it guys? Come. <laughs> <laughs> You like this, huh, Cisco? I do like that. My hands are just freezing. <laughs> I know. You ever thought to yourself, if I just went to the car wash? Yeah. <laughs> and money, you would say. <laughs> it's the wheels that take forever, huh? Yeah. And Especially they when they're like this, like like sometimes. Caked up. Yeah, I mean, with the big brakes and stuff, they get kicked up so far. Two passes, and there's still a little bit on there. We get the rest when we dry. guys time for part two the BMW was filthy and took an hour and 45 minutes this one's also filthy though so you got look at all that it's just caked up on there Cisco can you get out of the the, the uh, shadow I, I am the shadow look so you can see the difference look now you can't see the difference <laughs> This guy gotta be freezing. <laughs> All right, look at this. So that's our, when the car is this filthy, that's how we do our first pass. We go over the whole rooftop and then halfway down like the doors and the back bumper and stuff because it's so dirty down here. And then make sure we rinse our mitts, mitts. foam it down again, and then we hit the bottom. And then hit the bottom. To limit Kapow! scratches. Just like There's Cisco's line, I don't know what happened on this door. What do you mean? But yeah, you guys can see just how filthy this white paint is but how good it's gonna look once it's done. So let's get back to it. One door. So we got to start being conservative with it as we get on this side. Hey, I, I need my water. Dude, the plants are dying over here.
All right, that's a wrap with this car. Just an interior wipe down, protection, vacuum. All right, just let them know we're wrapping it up. I love being able just to talk and know I'm recording everything. Bro, you got all wet. How'd you get all wet? You sprayed me. You want a shirt? I got an extra shirt in there. I want yours. Really? Yeah. You gonna make me take it off? Yeah. Do you really want a shirt? Yeah. All right, take yours off first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cisco. While we're waiting for him to come out here and we pack things up, um, what went well? You just underestimated the work. Other, every, other than that, everything was fine. The only thing that we probably would need is a steamer. A steamer, but also I told him his interior wipe down. And if I'm doing interior wipe down, all I need is my brushes steamer and stuff. Be nice though sometimes. Sometimes you got those spills. In, inside the vents and stuff, I like, yeah, I do like the steamer. What else went well with this setup? I think, okay, I just checked the fuel, three quarters. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that thing running all day, you know? And so if I fill it up in the morning, mm -hmm. I can save space without bringing that extra fuel can. Yeah. Because it's like, I'm not going to need it. It's just in the way. So this setup needs to be cleaned up. That's fine though. Once everything, I get, everything these are going to be fine. wired up. Once these are wired up, I'll have LED lights in the back right here. Yeah. And so that just needs to be put to the side. This is our bucket filler. I got to get a higher quality hose because this thing is just, it's going to break on us for sure. I won't be bad with the setup. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. I think uh, the only thing I'm gonna have to get used to just hearing that all day. No, it's fine. It's we not that bad though. Anyway. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. It's it's louder at work actually. Yeah.